we can all attest to the fact that retouching these days has taken a lot of time or used to take a lot of time and because of how AI is advanced and things have become very very easy. For us who are interested in retouching our images naturally tend to stick to the old ways and it's difficult to change from old ways and it's not even a human fact it's a history fact and if it's not broken you don't fix it am i right so yeah i for one i think retouching is or retouching usually takes too much of my time just because of how natural i want to keep my images and we do that using apps like photoshop lightroom capture one lightroom and capture one for grading personally for me and photoshop for any skin work and we both know or anyone here on my channel knows i don't use frequency separation again just because of how destructive or let me use a better word how unrealistic it makes my images to look like yeah i know you can tell me when you're done you can reduce opacity and all that but after discovering how to use dodging and burning to make sure my images stand out and still keep the said natural look like how these small hairs i know there are some high fashion people who would want to remove all these hairs there used to be a time i was doing that just because i was following the mask but photography is a discovery journey and i believe everyone one way or the other has his or her market to what they want to portray to the outside world as you can see, I'm here in Photoshop trying to use the not so new tool, the remove tool, to take away blemishes. And for the very first time, I want to see how effective it is. I've been using it to just remove things and posts and all that and not to work on beauty images or portrait images as I'll be showing you later on in today's video. All right? So yeah, I created a new layer, changed it, made. It's an empty new layer, made sure my remove tool had sample all layers just so that it would sample whatever is beneath. So I'm going to hit on enter, then let's see how best the remove tool does a good job. If you follow me on my journey with respect to retouching here on my channel, I almost say 80 to 85, sometimes I say 70 to 80, sometimes I say 80 to 90 percent of a very good retouch usually stems from how good your healing is and this tool really did it did it did really well with respect to maintaining texture back two three years i would have used the healing brush to sample and clean let's select the healing brush to make sure you use legacy skill is selected sample we go to all layers and what you do is hold option on the keyboard you sample any clean you sample and clean sample and clean and that has been what i have been using for almost my years in photography yeah so let me reduce the hardness of it for almost all my years in photography and it hasn't failed me one bit but you know as ai is advancing like i mentioned earlier we need different tools to make sure our work is not based too much on the manual labor involved in retouching rather than the manual labor involved in the creative process so today's video is proudly sponsored by reblam i'll talk about reblam very very soon i want to show you what i've been able to do so assuming you take an hour two hours three hours four hours for me to perfect the image to make it look the way i want usually i spend as much as four hours on retouching basically spending more time on the healing and the next on the dodging and burning so this is what i've been able to do so far this is before and after before and after and usually with my retouching process if you followed me on my journey what i do is i make sure on the background layer after post processing and whatever editing software capture one lightroom or camera raw if i end up in photoshop i do a little bit of color grading so this is what is in the folder of my color grading this is my color lookup table from my light skin pack so tjd photoshop lats I'll, le I'll leave a link down in the description box below just go check it out and purchase something and support the brand 
hue saturation to make sure the lips are back with the color vibrance to add some color and curves to tone down how bright the image looks like and this is just a healing layer i created when i started the video just to remove this after this i'll go to dodging and burning and spend tons and tons of time doing whatever it is i have to do to make sure the image sits right for me and after that i think i i and teeth whitening some liquefy or filling of these parts usually happens when i'm doing the healing so you know what let me just do it so i'll take the clone stamp to increase the size the brush size make sure the hardness is zero what i do is hold option sample and make sure we have sample on all layers sample and paint in sample and paint in so we we fill it up then we are good to go right so assuming this is what i was going to do the processes involved would have been a lot i want to introduce you to reblom like i said they are the sponsors for today's video and reblom is a standalone app for portrait retoucher they are committed to making sure the quality and the style of their processing ensures that you you achieve very natural looking results your your edits will look very clean and solid right this is how their standalone interface looks like but more into that very soon i want to show you how the integration is all about so reblom seamlessly integrates with whatever software you use to edit your day-to-day -day software what i'll do is i'll turn the healing layer off i'll create a visible stamp layer holding shift option command and e and then i'll rename this to reblom what i want to do is to create another one so let's rename this to reblum fashion right and reblum sorry reblum natural i hope this sells out exactly what the app is about to do so i'll go to filter reblum and hit on reblum retouch reblum seamlessly integrates with your usual photo editing workflow whether you prefer using Photoshop or Lightroom Classic. So I'm going to show you Photoshop, which is what I'm showing right now. I'll show you Lightroom Classic. And so and make sure we you, you all you can see is a simple user interface as you're seeing here. Let me make sure it goes to full screen. There is nothing complicated about this. They are just literally buttons you need to press or you need to highlight. If you're using a mouse, you're using a graphic tablet, you need to tap. You see, we have style we have the natural style we have the fashion style if there's anything you don't you didn't appreciate about the image you were editing you share the image and you share your concerns about it then the intensity of the style you have chosen i'm going to zoom in right and show you so this is the natural editing style this is before the natural editing style and after before and after so i turned off the healing and as you can see reblum does a very good job with the healing it removes almost all the blemishes i would have done with key attention on the fact that you maintain skin texture like high like how i also will right so as you can see you see that being effect also what i can see it's doing is making sure it does the corrective dodging and bending processes i usually do so if i'm to integrate this in my workflow what it's doing is right now cutting down my editing work time from let's say a duration of four hours to maybe half in it because majority of the job has been completely done for me this is the natural i'm going to hit on ok then i'll go to the fashion right go back to filter reblum reblum retouch let it load for the natural and when it's done i'll go i'll hit on the fashion just so that it loads for the fashion also so for the more glossy look with respect to fashion high fashion you know with high fashion you're always looking for a very edited image and you can clearly tell the difference between the natural and the fashion i'm going to hit okay so that we can see a clear difference by doing a before and after so what I want to show you what the intensity sliders are all about. Right? If I move the texture to the left, you realize it introduces some of the blemishes back 
together with the skin texture. Other softwares I have used when you apply the dodging and burning skin processing software or yeah, skin processing software or engine, it sort of introduces what I usually don't like to see with respect to frequency separation. I don't know if you know what I mean, but as you can see, it even smoothens out the texture by not making it look like it smoothened out. And that's one thing I enjoy. With the general, if you don't want too much of the effect, you can reduce it all the way to zero or to a percentage you think you're interested in. I think I'm going to go with this, right? Hit on OK, and I'll show you a quick before. So this is, this is before our image before reblum so this is reblum natural and this is reblum fashion so reblum natural reblum fashion reblum natural reblum fashion so i'm going to apply it on different skin tone images just so you see how effective it is this is before and after before post processing and capture one and after post processing in Photoshop with my Photoshop LUT and a few other adjustments. So as you can see, color lookup table and the black and white just to make sure the image doesn't have that teal look in there. So what I'm going to do, create a visible stamp layer. Reblum, of course, that's how we're going to rename this. Then I jump into filter reblum and i'll go to reblum retouch so i'm going to go straight into the fashion look because this looks more fashion than natural for me with respect to how this image was shot so this image i got from a friend in nigeria chibuzo photography if you're interested in seeing how he works with his images and i'm going to leave a link down in the description box below so yeah this is before and after before and after i'm going to hit on ok let's go on to our next image of course color graded before and after if you're interested in the color grading lats you should check my digital store link in the description the tjd photoshop lab this is a caramel 4 for light skin subject so filter reblum reblum retouch i'm going to go straight to okay let's see how the natural looks like and we'll see how the fashion looks like so this is before and after before and after I mean, the more it processes, the more it does quite more of a job. All right. I'm going to go to the fashion look. Let's see what the fashion does. I think I like what the fashion is doing. More intense than the natural if you're not going in for the natural. I can hit on OK and I am good to go. Yeah, so inclusivity, I think it really did a very good job here with the integration in photoshop let's jump into lightroom and talk about batch processing so these are some of the images i have here in lightroom old images new images i think i have a video on the bts for this particular image these are also i i have bts for this that that and that i don't think i have a bts for this so let's batch process this i have already color graded them with my ntjds studio grade presets so they're all looking color graded. Now I'll select all of them, right click on and go to edit in and go into reblum, edit in reblum. Make sure edit a copy with the Lightroom adjustment because you've made adjustments to the image. File format TIFF, color spaces RGB, 16 bit depth to maintain more color. Resolution, you can leave it at 240 or change it to 300. Leave the compression at none hit on edit and this will help anybody who batch processes their images in Lightroom. So if you don't want to jump into Photoshop at all and you think all you've done in Lightroom is going to be perfect to be able to submit to the clientele you're looking at, why not? Just forget about Photoshop and do everything here in Lightroom. So imagine you're trying to edit dozens and tons of images and you don't want to jump into Photoshop. Like I said, you don't really have to edit them individually. You can batch process them as you go. Right? And that's how easy, how fast 
and because the interface is very simple it's very very easy i want to also talk about cloud editing and offline editing with cloud editing i mean it's self-explanatory it's using information from the cloud to edit your image a very good feature about reblog and one thing i have grown to appreciate over the past two weeks that i've been using this app just to test it out is the fact that even without the internet it's able to process your image to the way you want and it emphasizes its user and privacy say you don't want an image that you're editing uploaded into the cloud just because of an nda you signed with a client or whatnot you can just turn off your data or your internet and cloud process the image so for the purpose of the tutorial i'm going to do that i'll turn my wi-fi off right and let's say let's go to the first image it will still process again right so assuming i like the look for so i'm going for the fashion look for all of the images right let it process i'm going to hit on ok so let's zoom in to the face do a quick before and after before and after before and after so assuming you're shooting commercials for a client or whatever and you don't want to do maybe you're editing 30 40 images from the shoot Reblum is there to help you batch retouch your image obviously the increasing demand for natural edited photos are on the high and i think the best solution for your high-end retouch with respect to how natural the images will look Reblum should be one of your choices to retouch your images naturally so once the Reblum is done retouching your images it goes back into the app which is lightroom that you've been working in okay so i think i like what i'm seeing it make the skin look very good if there's an image i want to push right on the bat i'll push it and export it and post it now i want to show you how it works as a standalone app on itself right this is the reblum app i'm going to open reblum test because this is what we've been using to test our images i'm going to also show you how you can batch edit them All right so let's select a few one two let's see three four drag and leave it in there and you're able to batch process everything so if you don't want to open your integrated software like lightroom photoshop and you just want to edit it right from the scratch maybe whatever it is you shot you're okay with it and you want to just export just because of how good your lighting was when you're done with whatever style you're seeing here in the simple interface you can either export it as a tiff file a jpeg file a png or an heic heic sorry make sure the quality so we'll format with two formats you know you know the quality involved and all that so with jpeg let's say i want to keep it at 60 and i'll hit on save all right i'm going to hit reblum test and folder edit create open and then it's going to batch process everything for me and save them within the folder i just created so as you can see you have it over here let's see this is the image from the standalone app so i want to talk about their subscription modules and all that whilst we wait for this to finish i want to let you guys know that reblum if you want to try reblum right you shouldn't miss out on this opportunity sign up for an extended trial of reblum so reblum offers a user experience even before commitment so if you want to make sure you want to try it out yourself visit their website www.reblum.com sign up you get a seven day trial to try it out yourself and experience reblum 
for yourself as I have done. I can show you the video, but you need to experience Reblum for yourself. So visit the link in the description box below and start enhancing your portrait today. Note, I have a 20% discount on all their available subscription plans. So there's a monthly subscription plan, a yearly and a lifetime. And I'll advise anybody who visits their website and after using Reblum should jump on the lifetime experience or lifetime paid purchase just because you don't need to worry your head about whatever deductions that are going to happen later on in the future for this part of the world that i'm in the dollar rate keeps on increasing so i advise anybody around my region to just jump on the lifetime plan and for one time purchase use the link in the description box below to get a 20 percent discount off anybody who's interested in trying reblum thank you so much make sure you subscribe to my channel like share and try out Reblum using the link in the description box below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.